everyone. So today we're going to a UC ANR event. It's in Hopland, California at their research and extension center. It is integrating livestock and cropping systems. So to me, that means um, running sheep through vineyards and grazing during the months of the vineyard that there's no leaves on the vines. If there was leaves on the vines, the sheep would eat the leaves. Um, some people are even looking into taller trellis systems so they can have sheep grazing through the vineyards at more times of the year and the sheep not eating the leaves because they're taller. Um, so we're going to find out more about this. My first thoughts of what would be difficult about it is keeping sheep or goats or cattle or whatever, livestock, in one area is difficult. You have to have the right fencing. Um, you have to be able to move them, have the equipment, um, somebody that's capable of moving them, uh, dogs to help, and or quad and trucks and trailers. Um, Year-round nutrition is important. Vaccines, doctoring, all these things that we have to do to animals. So my first thought is this is, it's, it's a lot of work. It's a two-part program. Um, maybe not every vineyard owner is also going to own their own sheep. Maybe um, there's herdsmen or people that are also simultaneously have flocks and they're the ones that own the sheep and you rent them or lease them and they bring them in and out. So um, there's probably a lot of that that makes it work. Um, anyway, uh, it's going to be a beautiful day. I'm really excited. They're going to feed us lunch. Love that. And we'll see how it goes and I'll share with you all the contacts when we're done. Thank you. So lots of pears and grapevines out in this area. I think I have some beautiful pictures of this in the fall. Uh, you can see out there. We're getting close. In a quarter mile at the traffic circle, continue straight onto Old River Road. Boy, did this give me way more than I thought I was going to get. So first of all, I learned two new buzzwords, producers and contract grazers. This event was really for wool producers and contract grazers who own sheep and to show them how to get them out into different cropping systems and how to work with different farms. First off, we heard from a panel about grant opportunities. Then we heard from another person that spoke specifically of grants for land conservation. And then even we had a nice um, hands-on tutorial of electric fence demonstration. And then low sheep, low stress for sheep and animal handling, which had some really good points to it. Um, and there was a case study from a farmer who is in the Cape Valley area who actually incorporates um, regenerative farming in his property and the challenges that he's had. And then finally, they came up with a game where everybody gets assigned different people in different scenarios and you actually visualize trying to put these um, sheep herding and grazing demonstrations into actual production. So it was a great day. I think this was a part of a series. It looks like the one they had before on integrated systems talked about cover crop resources. And so there was a whole sheet of great um, contacts and website links to reach back to that too, if you're interested in that. And then I was getting completely overwhelmed with all the acronyms I was learning, like the RCD, which is the Resource Conservation District. And then the SLAC, the Sustainable Ag Lands Conservation Program. There were so many things to learn about and so many grants. So here 
we have Christina who says, if you want to know what you're eligible for, just call me and I will help you. These ladies even set up a list for all of us to see different grants that are available. Everything from Healthy Soils Program to International Consortium of Antimicrobial Stewardship and Agriculture, that's biologicals, um, National Grazing Lands Coalition, um, Climate Smart Ag for Future Farms, Organic Transitions, Professional and Producer Programs, many, many things to choose from. Then the fun part, we finally got to go outside and meet Paige Lynn. Paige Lynn is the in-house shepherd at the experiment station and she's also her own private contract grazer. She was the one that showed us how to set up fences, how to use different materials, um, the pros and cons of each different types, and even how to patch a break in the fence that happens quite often. Because it was so hot, we only had Dan there via Zoom. Man, I wish we could have had him outside bringing some of his animals and showing us how he moves them around. He has some great videos, I think, on a YouTube channel that shows off his dog, May, and how she works the animals. She knows exactly when to put pressure on them and when to stop. He also shows his sort of uh, design of what he calls a bud box and how to set up a temporary or even permanent um, working area with a chute, with a smaller corral, and then a bigger one on how to move animals through, doctor them, and keep them safe. Then we finally got to hear from Paul Mueller. Paul Mueller is a farmer, and of course he made reference to all the great soil advantages that regenerative farming has. So of course there's also a great flyer turned out on carbon sequestering and regenerative farming and all the advantages. The cool thing I heard Paul say is he referred to the soil as its own biology, like he calls the trees and the plants and the vegetables their biology, the animals a different biology, but the soil also its own biology and its own living organism in which you have to farm. When asked about his difficulty of regenerative farming, he said the irrigation destruction that the animals do food safety issues, and also nitrogen management reporting is very difficult to do when you add something like animals to the field. He made reference to this paper that I thought was very smart. I never thought about that. When asked about what the complications were, he said there's not enough research that talks about E. coli and how it actually persists in the field. Of course, there's measurements in which or regenerative farmers have to abide by, but there's not enough science behind it. This was a class act field day and I made many new friends. I hope these notes help to inspire you on some more learning. Thank you. Have a great day and keep farming.